In this video, I want to talk about the creative process and how you can build an amazing foundation to achieve your creative dreams. Creativity is life-changing. It is mind-altering. This channel is such a celebration to creativity. So if you haven't yet subscribed, then please come and join us here and really develop your creative process and achieve whatever dream you want. So I want to talk today about how to create that beautiful foundation, how to really make that process nice and sturdy. So I like to use an analogy when I'm working with writers and creative professionals, and that is of making pastry. So if you imagine the creative process a little bit like that. So first of all, there are certain ingredients that you combine to make that pastry, and then you roll that pastry out, you put it in the pie case, and then because of that amazing foundation, you then get to build a really wonderful pie. So that pie is your end product, whether it's a BAFTA, whether it's an award-winning book, whether it's a well-read blog, whatever that, whatever that pie is, that pastry-making process is going to be the perfect foundation for it. So the first thing to really consider with your creative process is your ingredients. And so you're going to want to have ingredients that feel really inspiring, that feel really energizing, that really bring your imagination right up to the surface. So start to think about what your ingredients are. So for some people, those ingredients are physical exercise because it gets all of those endorphins really nicely flowing through the blood and it gives their brain a really nice sense of expansion and then they feel really creative. For some people, those ingredients might be really healthy foods, really healthy foods that make them feel good, that bring really lovely energy into the body. For some, those ingredients might be spending time in nature. So whatever those ingredients are, it's that lovely combination of ingredients that then allow that pastry to start to come together. But as well as those ingredients, it's the way that you're bringing them together. So obviously when you're making pastry, you're using your hands, so you're interacting with those ingredients. So it isn't simply enough to say, oh, I'm gonna do physical exercise, but I'm gonna hate it while I'm doing it. So again, how are you interacting with your ingredients? And those ingredients might also be the ingredients of your craft. So whether it's writing, whether it's drawing, whether it's making something, how are you interacting with the ingredients of your craft? So again, it can be really nice to just do a simple writing practice each day, but to think to yourself, how am I interacting with these ingredients? I'm not a pastry chef expert, but I know that if you work and work and work that dough and you just keep working it and kneading it, that dough is just going to become really sweaty, it's going to become really hard and that pastry is going to turn out to be sort of quite leather-like and not that kind of light crumbly pastry that we all enjoy. So again, how are you working with those ingredients? Are you coming in with a sort of stressful mindset? Are you sort of using the tools of your craft with very little consideration? Or are you treating the paper and the pens and your tools with a lightness of touch, with a real consideration? So first of all, you've got the ingredients, those externals, you know, working out the food you're eating, whether you're spending time in nature, are you reading, are you studying? And then you've got the way that you're interacting with those ingredients and you're interacting with the tools of your craft. And then there's this idea of rolling out the pastry. And so again, you go bit by bit. You don't roll the pastry out all in one go, like in one second, and suddenly you've got the most perfect pie crust. It's a process. And so again, it's that understanding that the creative process is one that we come to each day. We want to find a way to be creative each day. It's that small contact with creativity that is going to lay the most wonderful foundation for your award-winning pie. So imagine it, you're coming to your creative practice each day and you're just gently, gently rolling it out and knowing that eventually you're gonna have that pie crust wonderfully rolled out and then you're lifting it 
into the dish and then you're laying the ingredients for your pie on top. So there are so many steps to that creative process and we can ruin aspects of the step by wanting it too fast, by expecting too much too soon and by not allowing ourselves to have that journey, by not allowing ourselves to bring the ingredients together, to interact with those ingredients in a way that feels good, to lay out that pastry and to roll it out bit by bit, day by day, and really put everything in place so that we can then build that award-winning project. So there we go, that analogy really helps if you're feeling frustrated, if you're having dips in your creative process, to really think and really ask yourself, how am I interacting with my ingredients? What are my ingredients? And am I allowing myself to just go bit by bit? Am I allowing myself to make connection with my creativity in small amounts every day? Therefore, I'm building up a really sustainable and powerful foundation for whatever your creative project is, whether it's a BAFTA, whether it's a blog, or whether your creative project right now is simply happiness. So let me know in the comments below what your specific ingredients are. It might be that you've only started to think about this concept now, so I would love to know what your individual ingredients are. What ingredients are gonna make up your award-winning pie? And if you want more of this, if you want more of these processes, if you want to find out more about how you can really hone your creative process, then come find me in my Facebook community. You'll find a whole group of committed writers and really ambitious creative professionals. And we're all working in little ways, day by day, to make our creative process a really good foundation for our dreams. And I will see you on the sofa next Monday. Take care till then.